Hello, my name is Katherine Perkins and I am going to give a short presentation on heart failure. Heart failure occurs when there is a structural change in the heart that prevents the heart from delivering blood to the rest of the body. Our heart has two pumps, a right pump or the right ventricle and a left pump or the left ventricle. Left pump failure is also known as congestive heart failure. Left heart failure is also subdivided into two categories, systolic heart failure and diastolic heart failure. Systolic heart failure pertains to when the ventricle contracts or ejects blood out of the heart. Diastolic um, heart failure pertains to the ventricle's ability to hold blood. Remember the Frank Starling law which states, a muscle increases in strength of contraction when it is stretched. In diastolic heart failure, the ventricle has lost some of its ability to stretch and blood volume is reduced. This is the difference between systolic and diastolic heart failure. One way to know if your patient has systolic heart failure or diastolic heart failure is to look at the person's echocardiogram. What you'll be looking for is called the ejection fracture the, or an EF. An EF less than 40%, 55% is normal, indicates that the heart has been weakened and can no longer perfuse an adequate amount of blood to vital tissues. If the person has a normal EF and still has heart failure, then there is a problem with the heart's ability to fill with enough blood to be perfused to the body. Right-sided um, now I'm going to talk about right-sided heart failure. Right-sided heart failure pertains to the right ventricle's inability to send blood to the lungs to be reoxygenated. Re Left-sided heart failure can cause right-sided failure. Other causes of, of right-sided heart failure are lung disease, emphysema, pulmonary embolism, COPD, high blood pressure in the pulmonary arteries. What does a person look like when they have heart failure? There is a difference in the appearance of the person that, who has right-sided heart failure and left-sided heart failure, although they can occur together. A person with right-sided heart failure will have dependent edema, um, fatigue. They'll have distension of their jugular veins. Um, in severe cases, they'll have ascites, enlargement of the liver and spleen. Um, a person with left-sided heart failure will complain of shortness of breath, can have um, a, a cough, a dry cough with shortness of breath, but as left-sided heart failure progresses, there'll be an increase in sputum production, and the person will become more anxious. Left-sided heart failure is not well tolerated compared to right-sided heart failure. Also, in left-sided heart failure, the, as the as the body fills with, or as the lungs fill with fluid, the person will become more cyanotic. Points to remember when someone has heart failure is one, know if it's systolic or diastolic heart failure, and you can find that out by looking at the EF on the echocardiogram, and two, know if it's right-sided or left-sided. Um, heart failure. Thank you. The following is information on the different stages and classifications of congestive heart failure.